Once upon a time, in the dense forest of Africa, a mighty lion lived. The lion was fierce, powerful, and feared by all the other animals in the forest. The lion's roar echoed throughout the forest, and his massive paws shook the ground whenever he walked. Everyone knew that the lion was the king of the jungle and ruled over all the animals. One day, the lion was sleeping soundly under a tree. A little mouse accidentally ran over his nose, waking him up. Furious, the lion raised his paw to strike the tiny creature. But the mouse quickly pleaded with the lion, saying, Please don't hurt me, your majesty. I'm just a tiny mouse, and I didn't mean to wake you up. The lion laughed and said, Why should I spare you? You're so small and weak, and I could easily crush you with my paw. The mouse begged for mercy and promised to repay the lion's kindness someday. The lion, amused by the mouse's request, decided to let him go. He thought that the mouse was so tiny that he couldn't possibly do any harm. Days went by, and the lion forgot about the little mouse. But one day, while the lion was out hunting, he got trapped in a hunter's net. The lion struggled to free himself from the net, but the more he tried, the tighter it became. The lion roared for help but no one came to his aid. The little mouse, who happened to be passing by, heard the lion's roar and came to investigate. When the mouse saw the lion trapped in the net, he immediately remembered the lion's kindness and offered to help. The mouse quickly ran around the net, gnawing on the ropes until the lion was free. The lion was amazed and grateful, realizing that even the tiniest of creatures could be helpful. The lion thanked the mouse and said, I was wrong to underestimate you, my little friend. You have repaid my kindness, and I will never forget it. From that day on, the lion and the mouse became good friends. The lion learned that kindness could be found in the smallest of creatures, and the mouse learned that even the mightiest of animals could be kind and compassionate. Together they lived in peace and harmony, sharing the joys and sorrows of the forest.